Hey, what's up, guys? Mr. Hopbuck here for our homework help video on Lesson 4.3 Homework. So let's jump right into this. We're working on graphing linear equations. So let's start with number one. So remember that seven-step process. If you don't remember that seven-step process, I'll put it on the screen real quick so you can um, see that seven-step process. Um, this just explains kind of the seven steps. So if you want to pause that, take a picture of it with your phone or whatever. So when you're working these later, you can. So um, there is that. So um, those seven steps, we'll go ahead and zoom in looking at number one. So number one is y equals 8 fifths x minus 5. So first step is to determine if this number right here is positive or negative. This number is positive. So what we're going to do is we are going to say it's positive, which means a line going up from left to right. Okay. So first step, that's positive and that means this line should be going up from left to right. After we do that, we need to write m as a fraction. Well, m is currently a fraction because it's 8 over 5, so I'm just going to keep it as m equals 8 over 5. So first step, is it positive or negative? Second step, write m down as a fraction. We've done that. Third step, direct your slope. So direct this. Remember, this is the change in y, change in vertical, over the change in horizontal or change in x. So how is this going to change vertically? Uh, it's going to go up 8. Since it's positive, it's going to go up 8. It's a, uh, since this is a positive 5, it's going to go right 5. And then we always name uh, the opposite, which would be the fourth step. So fourth step, name its opposite. The opposite of up 8, right 5, would be down 8 and left 5. From there, we write down b, and then we graph it. So b is negative 5, so I'm going to put a point at negative 5. So I put a point at negative 5, and then I'm going to follow my slope. So again, follow this right here, up 8 and right 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, put a point. I ask myself, can I go up 8 again? I can't. I'd be off the graph, and I can't go the opposite way either. So from there, grab my protractor, connect the coordinate points, draw my arrows, I graph my line, I label my line, y equals 8 over 5x minus 5. And don't forget this last step. This last step is important because it'll show you whether you're right or wrong, basically. So this is a line that's going up from left to right. We look at this from left to right, it's going up, so we do know it is positive, so we put a check mark there. All right, let's look at number four. So let's, uh, yeah, let's look at, mm, we worked one like that in, on the notes. So let's look at number three. So looking at number three. First step, determine if this is positive or negative. This is negative, which means a line is going down from left to right. This line of the graph should be going down from left to right. So with that, we're going to write our slope as a fraction. So we need to write 2 over 5 as a fraction. So we say m equals 2 over 5. Now it's a negative, so the negative always goes with the numerator. Okay, So always put your negative with the numerator. Okay. Always put your negative with the numerator. From there, we're going to direct our slope. So our slope, how do we direct it? Remember, it's the change in y over the change in x. So this is a negative 2, so it's going to go down 2. If you follow my steps, you're always going to go to the right. So right 5. Down 2, right 5. Down 2 because that's a negative. Right 5 because that's a positive. Now you do your opposite. Your opposite of down 2, right 5 is up 2 and left 5. So then I write down my b. My b is negative 4. And then I plot that on the y-axis. So go to the y-axis on negative 4 and put a point. And then follow your, um, your direction. I said down 2 and right 5. So once you, once you get this, you, you, this is your basically your man uh, station right here. You just look over here and that will kind of guide you. So down 2, right 5. Down 2, right 5. Put a point can't go that way any longer, so I go the opposite way, up 2 and left 5. From there, 
So again, I put my B, I go down to right 5, I couldn't go no longer in that direction, so I go the opposite direction, so when I do that, I follow my opposite direction right here, up 2 and left 5. That produces that point, I get my protractor, and then I'm going to connect those coordinate points, draw my arrows, make sure your line goes through it. I label it Y equals negative 2 over 5X minus 4, and then don't forget the last step to check. So I got negative which is going down, is that line going down from left to right? It is, so I say check mark. Let's go to the back side. So looking at the back side, let's look at um, let's look at number nine real quick. So looking at number nine, so first step we ask ourselves, is the slope positive or negative? The slope is negative, so we put a negative, which means a line going down from left to right. A line going down from left to right. Then I write my slope as a fraction. So m equals negative 2. But how do I write negative 2 as a fraction? Put it over 1. So negative 2 over 1. How you write any number as a fraction is you put it over 1. Now direct the slope. It's negative 2 on the change of y, so it's going to go down 2. And it's always right one if you follow my steps. Name the opposite. The opposite would be up two and left one. From there we find B. B is five. So we put a point at five. And now from your B, from your Y intercept, follow your direction. So down two and right one. Down two, one, two, right one. Down two, right one. I keep going until I can't put any more. Down two, right one. Down two, right one. Down two, right one. I can no longer go in that direction, so I ask myself, can I do the opposite? The opposite is up two, left one. Up two, and I'll, I'd be off the graph. So from there, I get my protractor, and I connect my coordinate points. I graph my line. I label my line y equals negative 2x plus 5. Now I'll do it for this homework help video on lesson 4.3, um, graphing linear equations. Thanks so much. Have a good night.